Hello students, under the second chapter, the last topic uh, is contractual capacity, right? Under that, uh, persons who are incompetent to contract. First one is a minor, second one is the persons of unsound mind and third one is the person disqualified by any law to which they are subject. Under that, minor is over, right? Under the minor, 19 points are there and uh, main is uh, one case law is also there. We have discussed all the things. Now, we have to see about a second one. That is the second main. After the minor is persons of unsound mind, okay? But now we'll see the what do you mean by persons of unsound mind okay persons of unsound mind a person is said to be a unsound mind if at the time when he makes a contract he is incapable of understanding the terms of a contract and forming a rational judgment has to its effect upon his interest okay person is unsound mind is nothing but the person who is not having the sound mind at the time of entering into the contract he is not in a position to understanding the terms and conditions of a contract a particular contract and he is not in a position to take a uh, good decisions, uh, forming a rational judgment or is not in a position to take a good decisions okay, uh, on his interest. This, that particular mind, particular situation of the mind is called the unsound mind. The person who is not stable, okay, mind, uh, mentally the person who is not stable, that person is called the unsound mind. That person is not able person to enter into a contract. Persons of unsound mind is nothing but lunatic or idiots. It's nothing but lunatic is nothing but unsound mind only. Idiots, drunken person, the person who, uh, uh, the person who taking the alcohols regularly, right? That person also treated as the unsound mind. When he drank, he is, uh, uh, is not in a uh, control right so the person who have suffered mental decay on account of old age or disease because of the old age the persons are becoming unsound mind right that persons these persons are so not are the main examples for the unsound mind next we the capacity of persons of unsound mind to enter into a contract. In some situations, the unsound mind persons also can enter into a contract or we will see in what are the situations they are able and in what are the situations they are not able to enter into a contract. Okay. Okay, first one, usually unsound mind but occasionally sound mind. A person who is usually unsound mind but occasionally of sound mind may make an contracts when he is a sound mind. Usually that person is unsound mind person but sometimes occasionally he becomes a sound mind means he can enter into a contract when he is of sound mind. He can enter into a contract, okay. And second one, a person who is uh, usually sound mind but occasionally of unsound mind may make contract when he is of sound mind. The person who is uh, almost is uh, in a sound mind but occasionally he became the unsound mind. That person can enter into a contract when he is of sound mind. Okay. Next one, a person who is usually of sound mind but occasionally of unsound mind cannot make contracts when he is of unsound mind. Okay. It is similar. A person who is usually sound mind person, but occasionally he became the unsound mind. He cannot make enter into a con he can enter into a contract when he is a sound mind, but he cannot enter into a contract when he is of the unsound mind. Next one, a person who is usually of unsound mind, but occasionally of sound mind, cannot make contract when he is of unsound mind. A person who is usually of unsound mind. But occasionally he became the sound mind, right? Occasionally he became the sound mind. If he is sound, he can enter into contract, right? But uh, con when he is of unsound mind, okay, usually he is unsound mind, right? So when he is unsound mind, he cannot enter into a contract, okay? Next, uh, this is about the second one, unsound mind. First is the minor, second one is the unsound mind, person of unsound mind. Now, third one, see, we'll see, disqualified persons. So, uh, disqualified, disqualified persons is nothing but, disqualified persons refers to persons who are disqualified from contracting by any law in force in the country. Okay. Disqualified persons refers to persons who are disqualified from contracting, contracting.
by any law in force in the country okay as per the any law a person is declared as disqualified person that particular person cannot enter into a contract align enemies the align enemies for example at the time of the uh, war between the india and for example there is a war between the india and pakistan right uh, in that time the uh, members or the, the citizens of the india and the pakistan they became the align enemies okay they can, we cannot uh, that persons of india and pakistan they cannot enter into a contract to each other that is the align enemies and foreign servants or ambassador or their diplomatic staff for ambassadors okay the persons who is working in another country in behalf of that particular country right uh, ambassadors or foreign servants or their any diplomatic staff they also cannot enter into a contract then con convicts convicts is nothing but aparadhigalu right the person who did some wrong and uh, it's a uh, that person also cannot uh, for example a person uh, commit and murder right that person is uh, convicts he cannot enter into any contact till the is a uh, particular case is uh, uh decided in the court okay next insolvents or bankrupts insolvent for the person who lost everything okay and the bankrupts are like like uh, now see bankrupts is nothing but now let's see vijay malya or any any other persons who lost everything and uh, uh, big, uh who has the large amount of loans in the banks okay uh, they they are in, not in a situ position to repay that particular loans these are the bankrupts right uh, these persons are not in a position to enter into a contract okay so besides the above persons married women uh, corporation also fall under this category again in england even certain professionals uh, uh, men come under this category married women in some cases there are some uh, restrictions restrictions are there okay it's not there in your syllabus only disqualified persons and the uh, persons of unsound mind okay this much is enough and the any law relating to the disqualified persons and the persons of unsound mind any agreements this is not included in your syllabus only the, the persons who are disqualified persons and the persons of unsound mind uh, who are the unsound mind persons and what are the capacity of us that is enough okay these are the disqualified persons first one is the the persons who are disqualified first is a minor under that minor agreement is very important 19 points second and the case law is there in man versus nash second one is the uh, Uh, persons of unsound mind third one is the disqualified persons disqualified persons is nothing but they are disqualified from the any of the law okay this is about the second chapter from next class we'll see about the third chapter thank you